In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply thermal paste to your GPD Win2 8100Y console. Um, this is my console. It has a Win Witcher 2 sticker on it. Very nice console. Uh, to improve the airflow, I applied four rubber pads under it. I've made them hollow so that I put them over the existing pads. So uh, the airflow is a lot better now. Before you disassemble it, remove the SD card. If you do not, it will break. And uh, then remove seven screws. You have to use a very thin Phillips screwdriver. Also remove the SSD. It's very simple. It's my daughter on the background with a toy horse. Now use a pry tool to uh, remove the case. Stick the pry tool between the casing and uh, you can pull it out. So unlock all uh, the clips. After that you open the casing and there you see the motherboard. Very nice black motherboard. So now you can remove the CPU cooler. It has four screws. Just remove them. Watch out that you don't let the screw fall on the motherboard. Or you might have a shortcut. Now uh, remove the cooling from the CPU. It's a little sticky. So we just do it with your nails. It has way too many thermal paste, as you see. The paste should be very thin. Now I've removed it with alcohol. It's very shiny now. So reapply MX4 thermal paste on it. Just a very thin layer to, fi to fill the micro holes. So here I did it. Now put back the cooler. and put back the screws. Easy as that. After that we uh, remove a rubber pad and we place some thermal pad on it. So the SSD uh, will be cooled something better. You see the copper or the aluminium uh, plate you see there is now touching the cooling copper. So the heat will flow to the cooler. Now put the case back. First uh, start with the back side. So all ports are go into the holes. Make sure the ports fit into the holes first. You see all the holes, SD card, the USB port should be aligned with the connectors. And then clip it back. You see, it's very neat now. It should fit like that. 
And now put back all the screws and the SSD card. So we skip the screwing of the screws. Let's go to uh, play a game. Kirby. This is on the Dolphin emulator. It's quite CPU expensive. So it should heat up the CPU a lot. So I've played this emulator for about 15 minutes to make sure uh, the CPU will be on full load. And the GPU. I'm using the Falcon engine. That seems to work best. Okay, don't film it. There's no stuttering at all. I didn't overclock it, or uh, this is just the default. Uh, yeah, default power of the CPU, seven watts. Now let's start HW Info sixty four to see what the sensors say. So I've run it for fifteen minutes on gaming. And the CPU has reached a maximum of 62 degrees. It did not throttle. No, no throttling at all. The PH, PCH reached maximum of 515 and the SSD reached only 54 degrees. Four degrees. I hope I could help you with this video. Thank you for watching.